Alright, you know, this little guy, I'm not talking. Well, I'm in a muscle truck until we get it done right. So, you see this little guy here? You know what that is? That is the, the uh, little brass pain in the ass that goes into the light bezels of your John Deere tractors. So, what happens with these things is that is brass. Let me make sure William's doing okay. Good. That is brass. And they put it into this little plastic bezel. And then they do something really intelligent, like instead of using a brass screw, they put a steel screw in there, which can rust solid. So, what does it do? It destroys your bezel. So you get it in there, and the only way to get it out then is to drill the head off of your screw using your fancy pants drill here. But then you have to get that out, because we're going to fix this thing without without costing us a whole new bezel, because that shit just pisses me right off. So, why not just use steel, right? I mean, just use steel, it'd be okay. It's a difference. Metal's metal, and if it's gonna rot and be a pain in your ass, may as well be steel, right? Yeah, great. So, give me a second here while So now you've got it in there. The whole objective is to get it to come out. Would you look at that? Popped right out. Hey, you got a nice clean hole, right? Nice clean hole. Excellent. Here's your stupid little brass doodad that they stick in there to cost you, I don't know, probably 80 bucks for that stupid thing, if not more. Because this is an older one. It's from the uh, 7810. So I'm going to shut this off check on my boy and then I'm going to come back to you with the way to fix it without having to go buy it. I think, huh? John, I think John or Mike said that somebody did not put the uh, two-stroke oil in the gas and just the parts go wrong. Oh, I destroyed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, who needs two-strike oil in a damn two-stroke, huh? It's just one step you didn't need to worry about. Take both of them or just one? Jingle bells. Is he ready for Christmas already? I'm just trying to be a pain in my ass. Re-engineered. Hopefully. No, it's, it's fine. So, is that the one that's got a little dabble on it? It does. A little bit of that stuff in there. That one's hot too, Tim. I just cut the heads. Can we soak in water for you? Nah, I'm okay. Oh, we got that one done. Don't beat it too much. All right. Where's that last one? I have one. There it is. That's perfect. See that? We still running? We are still running. Okay, good. So while I'm waiting for my glue to dry, I got everything else set up. I'm going to make another 
bit of glue. Shut you off. And potatoes got it all done, don't you? Oh. All right, so Tim's gonna go out and put that together so I can work on this bezel. This, this bezel. And that's it, everything works. We took a bolt instead of a screw. Timothy cut a flathead slot in each one. So instead of a Phillips to, to strip out, you can either use a 10 millimeter socket or a flathead. a flathead screwdriver. So you go ahead and put that thing in and that'll be the end of that. Okay. All right, enjoy. Now I get to go deal with this stupid thing. Yep. So that's what happens when you put loaders on tractors, things get busted, right? Pretty much. Now, them bolts, what did they clip into? Those four bolts that went on that bezel, did they go into something up in the... Yeah, my tractor looks like shit now. Looks like data from, or not data, the guy, Jordy from, uh, what do you call it, the Star Trek series. Right? Oh no, they go in here. Okay, so that's fine. Are you serious? Those nuts go here? I guess so. Did that go in? Yeah, they go inside here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. No big deal. No big deal. But I want to get this stuff cleaned off of here, and we'll start that, because this is just glue, and I, the problem is that there's busted off pieces there because, well, because the tractor's old, right? Isn't that what they say, the tractor's old? Well, didn't the uh, roof collapse onto it? Well, we had the roof collapse onto it, and that's what busted the brand new bezel, you're right. So anyways, that's it. What happened to my light bulbs? I stuck them over there. Why? Oh, Mr. Tim, we need brighter bulbs. I think I have some of these, don't I? Yeah, what are these 25 Gs? 112 volts, 60 watts. I need to put it 75 or 100s in there. All right, this will just finish up the video. That's what they look like when you get them in. Just like normal, just like normal. The only difference is now I have a bolt there. You see them? Little bolts with little slots in them. Instead of those things that never come out. And yes, they should work. I do have, this is the dead bulb. So we'll get rid of the dead bulb. And I do have some other parts I have to work on tomorrow. So, oh, let me get this. I don't want to leave a mess here. It's in my place and I don't like it. I'm leaving messes. So she's waxed up really good. You see uh, beading up real nice. 85-30 looks pretty sexy, doesn't it? Oh yeah. How many people know who Charmin's is in the United States, right? Anyway, looking good. We're ready. Unfortunately, it's raining. Raining. Sun shining over there, but it's raining here. Sweet corn's about ready. We're just ready, itching to get going on a wheat harvest. That's what we're doing, itching to get going on a wheat harvest. Uh, 